You may recognize our next guest if you attended or watched the Pray Vote Stand Summit last year. You may also recognize our next our next guest if you just like good music, John Cooper. He's the lead vocalist, bassist, songwriter, and producer of the band Skillet. He's also the author of Awake and Alive to Truth, Finding Truth in a Relativistic World. He and Skillet have a new album released today called Dominion. Here to talk about that and some other things as well is John Cooper. John, welcome back to Washington Watch. Hey, it's so cool to talk to you again. How are you, man? I'm I'm well. It's good to see you. I will have you know that I put on some black and lost the tie in your honor today. So it's good to see you. <laughs> yeah, now, that sounds good. I want to I want to talk about uh, Dominion and in your new album today. But first, I want to let you just uh, pontificate a little bit because you're an observer of the culture and the world like everybody else. You see it from a different perspective. There's a lot of division, loneliness anger in the world what's on what's your take on what's happening well you're absolutely right about that and uh i've always tried to write songs about those issues i have a heart for people who are suffering people who feel absolutely marginalized you know the invisible people who have always had a heart for those people in some ways because i can relate to some of the things that, that they feel so i've always wanted to write songs for those people to say, I see you, but more importantly, God sees you. You matter because God created you in his image. And when you come into that relationship with Jesus, you're going to find this fulfillment that you've been looking for. Uh, you are not invisible to him. You know, I think that what we have is a real crisis of meaning. Uh, sorry, I, I can't know if you can hear me. Crisis of meaning. And, um, you know, I think that we've not done a good job of, of, of teaching young people why life matters, because let's face it, if there is no absolute truth, if there is no transcendent God, then we, uh, do we matter? You know, I mean, how do you know that you matter? Okay. What can you find to put, to build your life on? And I think that that is not just happening in America from what I've seen, because we travel the world and do concerts that's happening all over the world. It, it is really just a complete loss of the Western, uh, Western civilizations, philosophies, principles of absolute truth and tr transcendent meaning in a, in a God that is above all things. So that's kind of what I see. And I wanted to write some songs to speak to those issues a a as best I could and to give people hope and because people really need it, you know, in, in a really great way right now. Tell me, broadly speaking, how do you see music and your music in particular affecting the way people think about the world? Well, music is a fantastic um, vehicle. You know, music kind of, what's the right word to say this? Music kind of softens you up to, to, hear, to hear what someone thinks about something that maybe you wouldn't normally want to listen to. Now, what we have to realize, of course, is that that can be used for bad. I mean, that can be used for really evil things. Mm -hmm or it can be used for really good things. What our young people are going through now is that they are constantly hearing, you know, this, this pop music, the, the popular music of the culture is so uh, godless. It is lawless. It celebrates actual, uh, uh, what do you call it? Just absolute sexual revolution, I guess you would say, um, and a, an abandonment, a liberation from Christianity a specific liberation from Jesus Christ himself. It is a celebration of sin. And a, and a lot of people say, well, I don't really listen to the lyrics, but the truth is, is these, these lyrics, they get into you. So we want to do something that is the opposite, you see, because I don't believe that music is owned by the devil. The devil doesn't create music. He does not own music. Music belongs to the creator. And so we aim to go into the culture and through music, we we bring music and art and rock music specifically for me back under the subjection uh, of, of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bring it back under his feet where it belongs as we give glory to him. So I do think that there's a great place for music to change people's hearts because they listen to the beat, they listen to the tune and they go, I, I kind of dig that. And then they, they turn on an interview with you and they get to hear me say what the song is about. And you never, ever know how God may use that. God is God does incredible things through interviews, these little seeds of truth. 
So that's what we're praying for. That's exactly right. And, and talk to us a little bit about Dominion, an interesting title, a controversial title, I assume maybe on purpose, but what's the message of this album? Some of the songs, what are you trying to accomplish? Well, Dominion, it is based on this great scripture uh, that probably a lot of listeners already know in Daniel 7, where it says, it's talking about Jesus, of course, and it says, his dominion is an everlasting dominion. I wanted to write that. It is controversial, but I wanted to write it because we're living through a time where we feel that we have absolutely no control over our lives. And even though we can't control pandemics, right, we can't control certain things outside of my life, but we can control things inside of our hearts and inside of our minds. And of course, for those of us who, who know Jesus Christ, we are no longer slaves to sin. We are no longer slaves to fear. We are not slaves to death, right? So we now, the Bible says, have been set free in order to become slaves of Christ, which is just so absolutely amazing. So dominion to me is a celebration of freedom. Part of that freedom is the fact that if you know Jesus Christ, you have been, you have been set free. It was for freedom that Christ has set us free in order to have some sort of dominion over my own life under the lordship of christ there is if you peel back the onion on what i mean by dominion it also is a celebration of freedom in america that we live in a country that is supposed and our founding fathers did to recognize that there is one who is greater than the government the government in america does not give me rights god gives me rights God gives me my individual freedoms, and the government is supposed to protect those from the government in itself. So uh, uh, there is a small nod, I guess you would say, to where I am saying to the government, there are places that you do not belong. You are being idolatrous when you reach into these other spheres. It is not your authority. You are not God. Uh, Jesus Christ is Lord of the earth. So I hope that people hear that message. I hope it's an inspiring record to people. I hope it rocks and I hope it just gives them strength to get up and face the day. John Cooper, we want people to hear that. Where can they get it? Go now. You can hit it on iTunes, Spotify, go to skillet.com if you want to hear a sample. Please do me a favor. If you like it, please tell somebody about it. We got to get the word out about the brand new record. And we will, and we are. John Cooper, thanks so much for your time today and all you do for the gospel. Appreciate you being with us. You as well. Thank you, brother.